Awesome. Thanks, Kat. That was great. Okay, so I'm just going to ask each of our wonderful writers a question. And the first question I have is for Natalie. Um, so I'll ask the questions. I'll come and um, give some brief answers, and then we'll just open it up for any questions that you guys have. So Natalie, here's a, just a little small question for you. Why does poetry matter? <laughs> I had a little tip that this was coming. <laughs> um, this, I, I just read this article in Huffington Post by um, Pam Allen, and she said that poetry matters because it's a way of sharing common experiences in a direct, powerful, and beautiful way. Um, and I, I'm going to elaborate on that myself just because I think that you can have poetry that's informed with some very, very strict form of sonnets and villanelles and whatever. Um, and there's also free verse and people doing a lot of really experimental things and writing poems that are simply based on sound. So you have, the, the writer has the ability to express themselves in a way that's most appropriate with them. And, and it's short, typically. You know, some there's obviously longer poems, but um, rather than trying to sit down and, and write a 500 page tome, you can write a haiku, which is a lot shorter and faster. I mean, maybe not if you've edited it, but whatever. Um, and Billy Collins says that poetry matters because it tells the story of the human heart. Poems are both urgent and comforting, free and structured, and the simplest language can convey the deepest thoughts. My question for Kat is, which poets and writers have most influenced your work? So I really like the confessionals. So Sylvia Plath and Anne Sexton are the ones that I started reading in high school when I first came to poetry. I started writing fiction, and I was in love with Stephen King all through junior high and high school, and I wanted to be Stephen King. Um, but once I found poetry, I gravitated toward the confessionals, and once I got past that, which took a long time, and I really haven't gotten over it, because if you read the book, you're like, oh, what's wrong with this chick? Because I'm still really confessional. Um, now, who do I like and who influences me? Um, Alvin Greenberg is my favorite poet of all time, and he lives in Boise, Idaho, Idaho, just a, four hours a week from here. And I'm going to go see him tomorrow and meet him for the first time. He writes poetry, fiction, nonfiction, and he is amazing and wonderful. So please Google him and read one of his poems, and you will be blown away and then get one of his many, many books. I also like <laughs> Marquez a lot, um, and Beth Ann Fenley, um, her poetry and nonfiction. So that's the main influences. Does anybody have any questions for either of our writers? Okay, so we can open it up. We have people signed up for open mic. I didn't mention that. <laughs> So we'll just move straight into open mic.